Time to talk Browns and welcome in <laughs> Cleveland.com's beat reporter, Dan Lobby. Dan, appreciate the time. Let's begin with this question. It appears that this roster upgrade has been significant yeah. to, to me, a guy who's not there every day. Does it jump out as much to you who sees these guys day in and day out all the time? Yeah, it really does because you start to think through, with, with the training camp schedule release, you start to think through training camp battles and things like that, and you realize – you know, at running back, you're going to have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, the depth of there. On the defensive line, they, they have a great starting four. Uh, you were talking about Gerald McCoy being added, perhaps. He obviously didn't choose the Browns, but he would have come in and been a role player on this defensive line. The linebacking core is better. The wide receiver depth, you're, we're not talking about the number one and two wide receiver battles. We're talking about the number four, <laughs> number five. So there's just depth across the board on this team, and it's hard to really poke holes in this roster right now. And in fact, to kind of dovetail off what you say there, ESPN went out and rated the top offseason. So who won the offseason? And uh, number one was the Browns. In fact, they, they, they rated them elite, above average, very good, those kind of things. Browns were the only ones with an elite <laughs> rating. And really, it's hard to argue with what they did in just one off season. Yeah, well, and it starts with Odell Beckham, right? You went out and added one of the best players in the NFL, a bona fide superstar, a guy that you know really transcends his sport. The Browns haven't had that in forever, and it just speaks to the aggressiveness of John Dorsey. He sees that window is opening, and so he used all those draft assets last year. He's used all that money the last two years, and he's really built a roster that has gone from, you know, no wins a couple years ago, one win the year before that, and now they're legitimate division contenders.